So welcome to my first vlog. Hopefully you enjoy it. I can show you some new stuff. Bye babies. I'll see you later on. You cheeky man. I'll see you later on. See you later. Bye baby. Bye bye. It's one of the one of the big issues that I have had living in New Zealand. Traffic is just everywhere. Usually right now I would be periscoping. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I'm really hoping the sun and the, the sun stays out. We've got blue. This is hard. This is harder than periscope, just so you know. This is a lot harder than periscope. I am a pro on periscope. I am not a pro on YouTube vlogging. No chance. It's an absolutely stunning day here today. It is just beautiful sunshine. We're in winter, we're in the middle of winter. Don't get me wrong, on a night it gets real cold, but it's absolutely stunning. So where I'm going today is Mercer Bay. Mercer Bay is a little bit, it's like a hidden gem in uh, Auckland. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people used to know about it, but now they seem to know quite a lot about it. Adrian's a really good friend of mine. He's, he's from California. Uh, he used to live in Kansas. I always remember Kansas because I have to think of Doris, Doris, Dorothy. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Me and Adrian know each other through Periscope. Moving countries are real, it's a real daunting thing. When I first moved here, the build up, I just kept getting emotional. I was crying, I was upset because I felt like I was leaving everybody behind. I was abandoning people. Then at the airport and all my family's there, my nephew there, my dad, my sisters, my mum, my brother, it's, it's really difficult. When he came to New Zealand, he said, look John, I have to buy you a drink because you've really helped me get over here and that was the beginning of a, an amazing friendship between me and Adrian. I am pretty good and I am I am upset that my friend's leaving. He's moving back to America. It's not easy over here. I've been part of his journey. I have had the privilege of being able to be friends with this amazing guy. This guy. When we got down there, I just had this drone. I've got it tied around my waist dangling Shawshank Redemption have you seen it on Shawshank the Redemption when he goes through the tunnel and he's wrapped his clothes in a plastic bag that's what it was like for me in my head I thought I was in Shawshank Redemption we got down there it's beautiful untouched sand totally isolated absolutely amazing I went and got the drone opened the box I forgot my iPhone cable now the iPhone connects to the controller so I can see what I'm doing. But it's not a case of being able to see what I'm doing, it's also how I trigger the camera. So without an iPhone, I can't trigger the camera. So I climbed all the way down there with this stupid thing around my waist and I couldn't even use it. And then I had to lug the damn thing back up. This time, I have got my Mavic Pro. It has got its cable, it's got memory card, it's got three batteries, everything. I have got everything this time. I am not gonna mess it up. Knackered. Just come from up there, and uh, it just goes on and on and on. I just I don't I forgot how long this is. I've got some sandwiches. As I've long got my sandwiches. Adrian's got it down there. It's pretty hard work, but I'm not looking for forward to going all the way back up there. Shut my hands. Covered in mud, but we're almost, we're almost there. There's the cave that we're gonna go through when I get down there. The boys are down there. Just waiting for old slow coach up here. Almost there. This is probably a really stupid idea. Just about it, but I'm actually gonna film me getting to the bottom. If it's like here. Ah. 
til underhanger og langestorstå Mørse Bæk. We just went through that tunnel over there. Now, last time me and Adrian came, you could get all the way through. You couldn't see anything, but you could see a slight light at, light at the end of the tunnel because there's actually a hole just up there in the rocks. We went through. You go through this water and the water dips down. As you keep going through, you eventually come to land and you're actually on the other side of these rocks over here. Now, they had the biggest starfish, the biggest mussels I've ever seen. And I'm not really into seafood, but Adrian is. He collected a load and that was his plan this time. We went through. These waves are coming on pretty fast. We just went through the tunnel then. As we went through, we hear this noise. And we're looking, I can see the silhouette of Adrian because he's got his torch on. And these waves just go poof, smashing up. We're in this cave. The cave's like, it's like two meters wide. It gets thinner at the top to a point. Go numb and it'll be all right. <laughs> I thought Adrian was going to get taken out. Checked everyone was okay and we got out of that tunnel because we would have got, we could have got in some serious trouble there. So we're out of it, we're safe, it's totally fine. We're enjoying the sunset on this beach. It's beautiful. Because how random found a coconut. It's got water in it. It's a proper coconut. Look at that. Hey. Got some coconut. So I've just been flying the drone. It's quite difficult to find, to fly here, to find points of interest, because it's so large. The only thing is that in the distance, there hasn't been much for me to film, so I hope you enjoy the footage, but I'm not too happy with it. So that's Mercer Bay, uh, done. We're leaving now, climbing all the way up there. Finally made it to the top. It, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Looks at the hands. I just washed them in a, just washed them in a puddle over there. It's pretty good because I've actually got quite strong upper body strength. But these little twig legs, carrying my big fat gut, is a bit difficult. Yeah, a great time spending, my friend. I'm gonna miss it when it goes.